Before we get started today, I've been meaning to do something. Fifteen minutes later. Okay, now here we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Channel Pete's Carport and welcome to part two of our wide body R129. Now, there's gonna be a lot more to this build than just the wide body, but we'll get to that on upcoming episodes. Today I wanna dive right back in, kind of where we left off. I've already got the driver's side panel off and you see here, I fine tuned cut all of the edges here, sanded it down, even cut the upper edge and it's what we need to do to this side here and I wanted to walk you through it slowly so you can see exactly how I got the results from that to this. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna set up and I'll show you guys what I did to go ahead and fine tune cut each one of these edges. So the first thing I did was went ahead and grabbed a marker. Now I suggest using a white marker if you can get one. I just had a black one sitting around and this will allow you to take a look at each one of the edges and kind of mark where you see it needs to be trimmed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark along here where I see it needs to be trimmed. Make sure you press down on the panels so you can really see exactly where it needs to be. And when doing this, when we get to the cutting part, I always suggest cutting less than you mark so you can keep putting it back and forth on the car because if you overcut, you're in a lot more trouble than if you undercut. You can always cut more off. Now with that part done, I'm gonna move to the back area here where we've got our light cut out. And what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna match this part up to the piece that we've already done because I went ahead and rounded these edges here and I rounded this edge here. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the trunk and mark exactly where the edge of this light comes to. That way when I take the panel off, I can go ahead and trim that down. Now that's pretty much the only pieces that I'm gonna mark right now, because we're gonna cut this along the bottom part of the tape here, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix this part over here and also how I'm going to level out that. So let me go ahead and get set up. I'll show you a lot of that in fast forward, but you'll kind of get the gist of how it's gonna go. Let's start out by patching up the area where they pre-cut out the gas cap that we cannot use, and then we'll move on to cutting and trimming. So as you saw, we went ahead and trimmed everything off. Now I had to put it back and forth on the car a few times just to get it right. And I feel very satisfied with the way that light came out. Do need to do a little more trimming over there. And I really like how this filling came out. Now, obviously we still need to fill that with body filler, but before we can do any of that, I wanna make a template to cut out this gas cap. I'll show you guys that in just a second. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the fiberglass molding, which I'm very excited about, because then we can move on to a body filler on that, sanding everything down and we'll get more of a complete look so stay tuned guys
So we are finally moving on to the full customization stage. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I've never done this before. This is all new stuff that I'm gonna be using. I mean, I've used fiberglass before, but I came up with some ideas in my head and I think they're gonna work. So I'm gonna give you guys exactly how I'm doing this, but there's probably many ways to accomplish this and there's probably many different techniques. And I may not be doing them perfect, but I'm gonna show you how I do them and the results that I get. Now, the first thing I did was tried to get a perfect edge with a using a marker to mark and what i mean by that is if you look under here this part of our fender uh, over over fender is closer than this side and that's because i tried to center this more on the wheel and get it in there so it looked like a proper arch but doing that i'm going to have more of a gap over here than i'm going to have over here so i need to create a gap a um basically an upward motion here and what i mean by that is we're going to be covering this and creating a fiberglass piece and doing away with this completely but this is going to allow us to guide on creating that custom fiberglass piece so let me go ahead and get set up i'm just going to start showing you guys exactly what i'm going to do i went down and picked up this plumber's putty because i thought it'd be really a good uh, item for filling like a clay so we're going to use that to kind of fill in first and then we're going to use this reflective tape over top of that because that will allow us to fiberglass without the fiberglass sticking and we've got fiberglass resin so hopefully this comes out the way that in my head it should come out but i really think we're going to nail it and it may take a few different times of trial and error but i think we're going to get this and it's going to look absolutely amazing and fully custom so let's get started
guys. So yesterday I went ahead and laid down this plumber's putty just to kind of fill in the gaps and then I laid down some foil. After doing that I realized I had this transition piece that will show up when we fiberglass it and at first I thought I hated it, I'm going to go right over it and make a smooth, smooth transition. I came in today, looked at it and thought I really do like this but it didn't this whole measurement here was different from side to side, but it wasn't way off. And all I did was eyeball it. So what I did was I came in today and I measured everything and I started to lay down clay again on top of the foil to match up uh, with measurements from side to side the best I could. Now it might not be perfect, but what I can do now is lay down uh, some more foil and then uh, once we fiberglass everything, I can remeasure and then use some filler to get it to be more perfect. So, but the good thing is on the next other side that I do on the uh, passenger side, we'll be able to more so start with a pre-measurement and get this to be more perfect. Because right now we're just kind of guesstimating what we want it to look like. And when it comes to the second piece, we'll have more of an exact idea. So that one will be a lot quicker and I'll probably just zoom through it very quickly. Right now I just want to lay down this foil. Uh, we are going to be doing the fiberglass right after this and I'll fill you in on exactly how I'm going to do that because like I said, this is the first time I've ever made a mold and this is the first time I've ever laid fiberglass over a piece like this and I'm pretty excited with how I think this is going to come out. So let's go ahead, I'm going to finish this off and then we'll talk about the fiberglass. So one more thing before we get started, I want to make a nice smooth transition on this back side. So that's the back side here. And originally I thought I was going to fill all this in, but what I can do is easily take this tape and lay it across. It seems to be sturdy enough to where uh, I could then lay sheets of fiberglass over that, creating a connection up underneath our original fiberglass piece to where I can either attach it, I'll probably use some sort of bond material. Um, I know they have panel bond, and that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna use to attach this whole piece. So right now what I'm gonna do is lay out the foil across this whole area here, and then we're going to wax the whole thing. I think I'm just gonna use Carnuba Car Wax because I did some research and uh, that does work. Now, uh, resin does not stick to foil, but a lot of people say you still wanna wax it just to make it release really easily. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna finish off all of this, and then we're gonna wax the whole thing, and then we'll start laying our sheets of fiberglass. So guys, it's been 24 hours that the fiberglass has cured on here. I've never done this before, but man, am I excited to see how this peels off. Fingers crossed, let's see.
two hours later. Well, that honestly didn't go quite as planned. I was really hoping this would peel off very easy. It took me about a half an hour, and uh, this piece here got cracked up a little bit, but it's not gonna affect any of the usage. In fact, I can reinforce it if needed, but this piece here is extremely strong. I'm very excited about that, and I said, like I said, this was my first time ever making a fiberglass mold, really even using uh, that style fiberglass in this way. So now all I've gotta do is trim this down so that it's able to slide up on there and become basically one piece. I'm still de debating on putting uh, rib nuts into this to give it a look. Uh, I may, I may not. We'll kind of look at that coming up here soon, but I need to get all this nasty mess cleaned up. I mean, all this pulled out at least, but man, you can see I cut my hand there, so be careful when working with this fiberglass. It's very sharp on the edges. With all that said, let me go ahead and get all this cleaned up and we'll move on to our next part. Let's go ahead and take a look at it now. I want you to know I went ahead and added both the inch and a half spacers to this just to take a look at it. Obviously, I'm not gonna drive the car like that, but this is a total of three inches here. And then I went ahead and taped our molding piece up after slightly trimming it down. And then I went ahead and fully marked a five inch space all the way around from the edge here. And then I'll kind of sand that down and make it really, really nice and even. So hopefully that's gonna be a good amount for us to still be able to rib nut a couple rib nuts along here. So this part here is all finished off all the way up here, which I love, that looks really nice. And uh, down here, I'm just gonna have to refiberglass a little bit to finish that part off. And then obviously a lot of sanding to smooth this out as well as uh, fiberglass filler and more sanding. But we'll get to that before the end of the video and hopefully have this piece completely finished off. And then we're going to be adding the complete part down here. So that'll probably be on the next episode. Uh, we're gonna have to completely mold that. Uh, using the piece that we cut off as well as uh, some foam board. So that's gonna be an exciting part to make as well. It's gonna have a lot of steps, but it's gonna come out really good and make this whole thing look finished off. So I'm excited about that. Well, without further ado, let's get started, get this back off, cut this down again, start sanding on it. And we'll get to the other side before the end of the video, but we're gonna use a little different process. I'll fill you guys in as we do it, but let's get started sanding this down.
So lots of filling, lots of sanding, and a whole lot of reshaping has happened over the last couple of days, mainly because I got my three-piece rims in, and when I mounted this back up, I just hated the way it looked. It didn't really line up properly. So I pulled it off and tried a whole bunch of different things, so I finally got satisfied with the way it looks. Now, I had ordered in these NRG uh, rib nuts, and I started thinking I was gonna rib nut this on they just didn't look right. They were a little bit too big. And so I spent the whole day going down and trying out different uh, bolt nut uh, options, maybe even riveting this on. And I think I'm gonna go with this to kind of match up with our NRG. And the NRG is gonna mount up the entire body panel. So these will go around the body panel. I'm pretty excited about how it's going to look. I had said before that we were gonna finish off the other side, completely changed my mind on that because I need to get one side completed and perfected before I even start the other side. So what we're gonna do is complete the driver's side, well not complete it, but get it to uh, the way it's gonna look. So I'm gonna throw some primer on there. This is not completely uh, filled and sanded, but it's very, very close. So I wanna throw some primer on there, step back and just see how it's looking and uh, show you guys, and I'm probably gonna end the video right around there, but I'm I'm pretty excited now I'm not going to show you guys the three-piece rims because that will be definitely in the near future video but stay tuned let's get started on priming All I can say is, wow, guys, this is the exact look I was hoping to get from the beginning. I really, really love the way these Allen key bolts came out, and all I'm going to do now is add a few more in between, obviously evenly spaced, and then I can't wait to build this bottom section to continue this down, because these three-piece rims look absolutely insane with this body kit, and I can't wait to reveal them. So one way you guys can get to see these rims earlier is join me on Instagram. It's Pete's Carport on Instagram. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I can't wait for the next video.